This is my first attempt at uh, flanging holes and uh, I've got my custom made flanging dies already made. I made those out of aluminum. This piece here is aluminum as well. I believe it's 6061 but I'm not entirely sure. I just used a scrap sheet that I found and uh, it wasn't labeled so I'm not really sure what it is but it doesn't matter for this particular application. This particular piece is the uh, the storage compartment door that goes uh, behind the pilot. This is the, the top part of the back of the pilot seat. Most people have these made of wood and they're hinged along the bottom so they open up this way. But uh, my idea is to have this piece, I'm going to epoxy some uh, steel flat plates on it and then I'll just use magnets and this will attach using magnets. This piece here is uh, cut bigger than it needs to be because I wasn't sure when I did the actual flanging if it would shrink the metal. I didn't know so I made this piece bigger than what it needs to be and I don't think the lines show up. Well maybe they do a little bit. But this line here represents the size that it needs to be cut so I have to trim it down and, and sand it. But um, I used uh, the wood piece, the wood, uh, the wood piece that was cut out of the eighth inch plywood that makes up the seat back. That piece I used as a template to draw up the shape of this piece since uh, obviously I know that that piece, that wood piece fits because it was cut out of the seat back so I just used it as a template. So here it is so far. Uh, it's still kind of in the rough. Very 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 pleased with the flanges. Uh, they're nice and, and deep. Um, my first few attempts with making the dies, the flanges were very thin but uh, these these are pretty deep. I think they're deep enough but not too deep and I think they look uh, good for the size of the part. As you can see, maybe maybe it's hard to tell in, in the video here, but these two end holes are uh, bigger than the other three. These two are, uh, the, the hole starts out as a two inch hole and then of course after you flange it, it ends up being bigger. And these, these three smaller ones, the hole size I believe is what is that? An inch and a quarter, I believe. I'll have to look at the hole saw that I used. I'm not sure. But here it is so far. I'm going to try to sand it to size and uh, get it to actually fit onto the pilot seat back.